Hello and a good afternoon here at the EST Electrical Services Stadium at the LAM. Here for this third qualifying round FA Trophy fixture between Tamworth FC and Warrington Town. We're just going to go through the two teams lineups, starting off with the home team, Tamworth, in goal, number one, Sean Rowley. Number two, Andy Burns. Three, Steph Morley. Four, Ellis Dini. Five, Luke Jones. Six, Jack Lane. Seven, Regan Upton. Eight, Aman Verma. Nine, Zach Kotwicker making his debut here for the Lambs. Uh, ten, Ben Fox. And eleven, Daryl Knights. Tamworth's current top goal scorer. And on the bench for the Lambs, uh, number 12, Bradley Reed. 14, Connor Taylor. 15, Callum Powell. 16, Charlie Shaw. And 17, Sam Collison. Uh, now for your Warrington Town lineup, starting off in, in goal. Number one, Anthony McMillan. Number two, Adam Adam Carden. Number three, Rory McCune. McCune. Number four, Bradley Barnes. Number five, James McCartan. Number six, Liam Golden. Number seven, C. Uh, Sean Williams. Number eight, Dylan Yasolo. Number nine, Jamie McDonald. Ten, Tony Gray. And eleven, James Barrigan. And on the uh, substitutes for Warrington, number twelve, Jack Higgins. Fourteen, Stark Baker. Fifteen, Steve Jennings. Sixteen, Jamie Davis. And the substitute goalkeeper is Ben Ashcroft. The referee is Mr. A. Kirkley, and its assistance referees are Mr. Pete Buck and Mr. K. Shaw. And kick off now for this uh, FA Trophy fixture, starting with Warrington kicking right to left. And they immediately play the ball forward, looking for number nine, Jamie McDonald. And he actually keeps it well in that corner, getting round his man. Luke Jones, the skip of Tamworth, just get his body in the way. But his pass was loose. Free Sorry. kick to Warrington. Free kick to Warrington now. Ball's put in the box. It's actually J Sean Riley had to be alert there. Everyone, I think, was anticipating a cross from number eight, Dylan Yasolu. But he ended up having a shot, and Sean Riley had to tip it over his bar. Andy Burns now pick, uh, picking off the Warrington pass. Now driving at the Warrington fence, playing it out wide to Ben Fox. It's a bit of contact there, but Fox, ben Fox passes it into the middle of the field. Out to Steph Morley. Puts it in the box, but it falls to Seth Molly again. Darren Knight's now cutting inside in his right foot. Has a little dink in towards Verma. And that's in. Town was make it 1-0 with about probably 10 minutes gone now. Lovely floating ball in from Darren Knight. And Amver Aman Verma leaps up and headers Town with in front. That's just, just the start Town was wanted, really. Where we can see the late goal as uh, Warrington build an attack out on this right hand side. The ball's played to McDonald, it's nicely worked. Yes, Solu's in on goal, and that was a nice, tidy move there from Warrington, and they equalise. It's 1 1. That's the first, well, actually, you know, the second shot Warrington have had, and Yasolu kisses the post on the way in. And there you go, it's 1 1. Warrington keeping out McMillan. Plays a loose ball for Kotwicker. Plays it through for Darren Knights, who has been caught offside. Debatable offside there, Jay. Yeah, it was a bad kick from McMillan that led to that. Pot Wicker controlled it, played it through for Knights. He, he was actually given offside, but as you said, Harry, obviously the Tamworth fans down below us... Uh, Disagreed with that decision. Yeah, but they but, were, weren't they? they? Would. Ball Andy goes. Burns trying to win the header. The referee stops play again. Push, push in the back. This so has been a very, very stop-start game. Yeah. There's not really been any free flowing. The ref seems to blow up for every little thing. He's not really given an option for an advantage. A free kick for Tamworth, just past the halfway line. Ellis Dean to take it as Jack Lane and Luke Jones have both made their way into the box to join Verma, Cotwicker, and Knight. Deeney now. Goes up towards Verma, wins the header, and he actually lobs the keeper with that. The keeper's positioning was very wayward, and Verma scores his second header of the game. As we were just saying, we wanted a goal poor half time, Absolutely, and we got Jay. it. Exactly what Tamworth wanted. 
And there we go, that's half time here at the EST Electrical Services Stadium. Um, two goals from Andy Verma, me and Tamworth lead 2-1. Uh, but obviously they, were, they did go 1-0 up, but that goal was then cancelled out by Warrington and Tamworth uh, lead 2-1 at half time. So, and we'll be back for the second half. Welcome back to the EST Electrical Circus Stadium here at the Land for the second half. Obviously the score was 2-1 um, to Tamworth. Just waiting after the referee's whistle as he blows and their second half's underway. Straight away. Cut wicket look to build an attack but it broke down and uh, Yas is it Yasolu? Yeah, Yasolu's making his way through. But Luke Jones shepherds it out. Luke Jones into Jack Lyon. Goes into Knight, who just holds it up for Fox. Nice play from Tamworth as it find, finds Annie Burns out on the right hand side. Burns with a little dink ball in towards Cotwicker, gets his head to it, but it's just wide. That was great play from Tamworth. Starting with the centre backs, Luke Jones, Jack Lane, nice one touch football. Found its way out to Andy Burns, whose cross was very good. And it's just a shame Cotwicker couldn't make a good enough contact and find the net. Corner taken now into the box and it's straight come off a Tamworth head. No, it's but the referee has actually disallowed that goal. Um, and Andy Morrell trying to find out what why that why that goal was disallowed. I think there. they're uh, saying Jake. that Regan Upton towered over the keeper, but the keeper didn't have two hands on the ball, so Regan Upton had every right to go for that. I'm not sure why that was given as a free kick. Just going to take a quick look at that again uh, on the highlights there. Corner to Warrington now. Then. Yusolu, who you just talking about, takes it. It's a good ball in Burns. Dealt with it initially. It's not been dealt with. It's in. And it's put into the back of the net. McDonald has equalised. This is definitely not what Tamworth wanted. Uh, they really need to build another attack and get another goal back here. It's not a nice position for the Lambs to be in. Yeah, Warrington. With 15 minutes to play. The thing is now, Warrington are going to have a bit of momentum going into these last 15 minutes now with that goal. Tampa are going to need to uh, quell that and hopefully build something themselves. But I'm sure there's going to be questions asked of why Tampa's goal was disallowed. Had that Absolutely. gone in, this game would be completely different. Back in there. Yes. Right. And As that's the ref blows for full time uh, here at the EST Electrical Services Stadium at the Lamb. Uh, this game will go to a replay. Uh, not sure when that will be yet. Um, it's probably a midweek game away at Warrington, I would have thought. Uh, however, later on tonight, uh, so Monday evening, uh, here at the Lamb, uh, the five-year plan. plan will be revealed to supporters. Um, that will be in the sponsors' lounge, 7:30 start. Yep. Uh, for a, but the spa will be open from seven, I believe. Yep. And if you can't get there but would like to find about out a little bit more information about this five-year plan then uh, Lambs Media will be live streaming the five-year plan to YouTube later on this evening uh, I hope you've enjoyed today's highlights um, yeah so it's ended 2-2 here um, and it's, hopefully you can make it to the five-year plan and we'll see you soon